What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why now more than ever is the time to be stacking silver. So, let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so why is right now a good time to be stacking? Well, I'm not going to give you just one reason. I'm going to give you 30 trillion reasons. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm referring to the U.S. national debt. It's over on the left, and it's continuing to go up as I speak. It's now over 30 trillion dollars, which is quite a staggering number. In fact, we're about to add another million to the debt. Here we go. Ooh, that one hurt. <laughs> no, but seriously, if you look back just 10 years ago, it was under 15 trillion. So it's doubled over the last decade. Now you might be saying to yourself, okay, well, why does it matter to me personally if the government continues to go farther and farther into debt? And to that, I would say, look at their pattern of behavior. This reckless spending is never going to stop. The only way it's ever going to end is with the fall of the dollar. Currently, inflation is up 7.5% in January of 2022. This is quite an astounding number. It's actually the highest inflation has been over the last 40 years. Yesterday, the Fed held an emergency meeting in which they discussed how they would combat inflation, and they decided to raise interest rates in March. Now, how fast they're going to raise them has not yet been decided, but rates will be going up. This means that borrowing is going to get more expensive so if you have a lot of your money in the stock market now's a good time to be thinking about transitioning it out and you don't want to be going into cash because of course as i just mentioned inflation is running rampant at the moment so another place you can look at storing your wealth would be precious metals and that's what i've been doing over the last few years i've completed the monster box challenge 500 american silver eagles stacked i've completed the dime guardhouse box challenge the half dollar guardhouse box challenge the 10 ounce gold challenge and now i'm moving on to yet another challenge it is the maple monster box challenge that's right my next goal is to stack 500 canadian silver maple leaves they are these coins right here and they're a great thing to be buying if you want to get into silver this is one of my top picks right now they come in tubes of 25 coins the tubes look like this and i don't really have a lot of maple leaves so we have an empty box here and it needs to be filled and this is going to put a fire under my butt it's time to start stacking more silver baby in fact today we are seeing a nice little dip in the spot price of silver at the moment it's down 54 cents which is excellent it's time to buy the dip i'm gonna go pick up my first tube of canadian silver maple leaves now unfortunately for me most of my local coin shops don't regularly carry the canadian silver maple leaves if they have any in stock they sell out extremely fast so i'm gonna have to buy some online and then of course when they come in i'll do an unboxing and show y'all what i got but in the meantime i actually do have some other silver we can unbox as i talk about why 2022 is going to be a great year to buy silver. First off, I just want to say that I do believe that precious metals are in a super cycle. We are in a current bull market for both gold and silver. Now, that being said, the price of silver is lower than it was last year. However, all of the things that happened to push the price of silver up are still taking place we're still seeing record inflation there's still a lot of uncertainty in the world in fact things are potentially even getting worse so whether you've been buying silver for a long time or you haven't purchased your first ounce yet i say take advantage of the lower price and stack more while you can usually at the end of a bull run in precious metals we hit the mania phase and gold 
could go up much, much higher than it is currently. And silver is actually more volatile than gold. So we could see some really explosive moves in the spot price. And this would do a few things. Number one, the media would start covering it and the general public would get into silver. More people would become aware of it. And the more people that buy physical silver, the higher the price would go. And the second thing it would do is probably drive silver to an all-time high and once it hits its all-time high i think that more and more people would continue to buy in thinking it's just going to go up indefinitely now obviously if the dollar does crash then silver could go extremely high however the price of everything else would go up as well so this really comes back to the whole purpose of buying silver to begin with it's a hedge against inflation it's wealth protection it's making sure that no matter what happens to the dollar or whatever currency you currently use you will be protected and of course don't put all of your money into silver always diversify but the bottom line is i'm going to be buying much more silver this year and if you're thinking about buying silver yourself i believe it's a really great time to do so now to wrap up this video i just want to leave you with this no one out there can accurately predict exactly what will happen in the future all we can do is make assumptions based on what's happened in the past so because that's the case, you should have a fallback plan. And precious metals are a great way to ensure your wealth will be protected. As I mentioned before, don't put all of your money into precious metals, just a portion of your portfolio. Now this stuff right here, this is called junk silver. It's actually 90% silver, 10% copper, and it is a great way to get started with precious metals. However, there is a problem when it comes to buying junk silver, and that is not a lot of people out there know how to price it accurately. And for that reason, I made a buying guide. I highly recommend you check out that video. I'll put a link up in the corner, as well as a link down below in the description. Make sure to take note in the pricing multipliers in that video so you don't end up paying too much when you're buying your junk silver. But if junk silver is not right for you, there's lots of other things you can be stacking. In fact, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna be stacking more Canadian silver maple leaves. I just temporarily put my junk silver in the maple leaf box because why not it's a container and it's right here but of course i'm going to take it all out probably put it back in one of these canvas bags because that's a great way to store junk silver the whole point of this box here was to give me motivation when it comes to stacking my maple leaves all right i'm going to wrap up this video i do want to say a massive thank you to all of you for watching if you have any questions feel free to put those down below in the comment section and i'll see you all in my next one silver dragons out.